the house straight ahead looks totally like it could have been in a John Hughes film or definitely something in the 80s and 90s, you know? Got that classic small town anywhere America vibe. Hi everybody and welcome to the world of Mike. Today we're gonna be finding the filming locations for the 1985 film, Daryl, starring Barrett Oliver. Now. Let's take a closer look. Now I've thrown a few of these locations in previous episodes, talking about Orlando filming locations. But today I wanted to find pretty much the complete locations of Orlando. They did film in North Carolina and a few other places as well. But today we are strictly doing the Orlando filming locations from Daryl. And they did film this film, 1985, January through March. And this is the house of Andy and Joyce Richardson from Daryl. This was the home of Andy and Joyce Richardson right here. The main filming location of this, this movie, the house. Yeah, Andy would have pulled in right here. They had some shrubs, some bushes here, some hedges, like in Halloween. Those have been removed, but the driveway is still pretty much the same. And I know they filmed inside this house because everything matches up when they're looking out the windows and everything. Daryl's room would have been right up there in that window there. And there's a great shot with the lady and Daryl and Andy and Joyce. They're saying their goodbyes to Daryl right here. And that lamp post, that light post right there is pretty much the same. It's just, they've changed the, uh, the casing of the light. Now someone did build a house here right across the street from the Richardson's house. So I'm gonna match it up the best I can when they were teaching Daryl how to play baseball. I believe these are the trees you could see in the shot with Andy and Turtle and Daryl in the background. But you can see Andy and Turtle and Daryl getting ready to play a little game of baseball to see if, <laughs> if Daryl could actually hit the ball. And there's a great shot with Andy and uh, Turtle and Daryl in the neighbor house there, you can see it. And Andy's just telling him just to hit the ball. That's all you gotta do, just try your best. And then right here, you can see Andy taking the, the glove from Daryl's hand. Daryl was trying to swing the bat and hold the glove at the same time. And here it is, Turtle hanging out right here where the sidewalk ends. And Andy getting ready to throw a ball at Daryl. And of course, we all know what happens. This house did not exist right here, but Daryl was standing straight ahead. You can see the, the lake in the background behind Daryl. Well, he swings away. And Andy and Turtle discover that Daryl's got a talent. That kid can hit a ball. In fact, when Daryl actually hits the ball, it goes right up here to the house. And in that window right there, you can see Joyce and the piano. Windows still look the same. That's pretty wild. Now this is Turtle's house, but you can see in the shot when Andy opens the door, look at the background, that's Turtle's house. So I know they filmed, you know, inside the house like that. All right, now let's walk over to Turtle's house. Now I know Turtle's house is occupied, but this is the house that belonged to Turtle and his sister and their family. A couple of scenes took place here in the driveway. I'm not gonna step into their driveway, but I can step here on the sidewalk and you can see what the nighttime shot looked like with Turtle's sister. Remember her name? And her uh, date is right here. Now there's a shot when you see Daryl and the doctor leaving the house there and Daryl has all of his bags packed. Daryl standing right next to that lamppost there. He looks over and sees Turtle. And Turtle and his mom are standing right behind me over here looking at Daryl. We're gonna walk over and get that same angle. Cause I, I don't know, maybe the mom's expecting the guys to say their farewell, but Turtle wasn't having it. Turtle gets mad, basically leaves his mom, runs over 
at this direction here, and you can see the house. I'm gonna walk up closer, we can match it up just a little better. The pole to the right, and the house straight ahead. Turtle runs in that direction and hides behind some hedges they had in the neighbor's yard, which these hedges have been removed. And this whole area has kind of changed a little bit landscape wise. So these hedges used to be a lot bigger and the camera crew was in the basically the front yard, but they were looking straight ahead, more or less. You can see the hedge in the shot. Michael McKean, Andy and Joyce saying goodbye to Daryl as he got in the car to go with the doctors. A lot of scenes took place here on this street, Uslid Avenue, Orlando, Florida. I love coming out to residential areas and doing filming locations. Just a word of advice for those who are doing this. Be respectful. Don't go on people's property. Stay on the sidewalk and you will be fine. Turtle's house has turned out to be a pretty house, I will say. And this is the view from Daryl's point of view in the back of the car saying goodbye. So Turtle gets mad, gets his sister, they get on their bikes and they ride their bikes down this direction here on Lake Avenue. Not sure how much of this has changed since filming. And I'm guessing this tree over here in the distance is the tree in the shot. Daryl would have been running down the street, well, the sidewalk here, and he would have ran up and been greeted by everyone in the family right here in the front yard. And that's where the film ends. All right, got a few other spots in the downtown area to visit. A few of these spots, I don't think anybody has ever done these spots on their filming locations. So I try to do that. If someone's ever done something like a complete, you know, show a few spots, that others didn't show just to kind of add to it not to blatantly do something that someone's already done before but you know add your own spin different shots different angles you know different scenes all together so there's a few of those in this episode which i'm kind of proud of but i wonder if this house was also in the run for being the house for daryl kind of looks the same definitely looks like something you would see out in hollywood you know south pasadena a little further down the street. This, I believe, is Cherokee Park, Lake Cherokee. Ooh, look at that cool bikeway logo. You guys see that? Colors are really cool. Pink, seafoam green, yellow. Little 80s, 90s. Down here is where Turtle and Daryl were hanging out, having a little conversation. They were supposed to be walking with one of the neighbor's dogs and they returned the dog to her house. And I actually found that house, which I don't think has ever been shown. So I'm gonna carefully walk over here in this uncut grass. Oh my God, Whew. that was a lizard. Just waiting for a snake. Seriously, waiting for a snake. <clears throat> be a little loud, so maybe they'll get the hint. But right around here, let's match this up. Turtle and Daryl were sitting right here. And this is the shot right here with Daryl and Turtle. Trees are a little different where well, they were lined up in the, the shot, but like the closest you can really get. It was right here where Daryl and Turtle were hanging out talking got up got the dog and took him back to his house this is pretty cool this is the spot which means the camera crew would have been set up right here it's a pretty good size 
spot, but the water used to be a lot closer to this little ledge here. So Daryl and Turtle get up from the spot with the dog, and they get on the sidewalk, and they take the dog home to its owner. And I found that house. Let's go see it now. So straight ahead is the Daryl and Turtle tree, and they walk the dog literally completely across this lake all the way around. It's a good, good, that's a pretty good walk either way. That dog had to walk all the way from the other side over here, but those kids, I don't blame it for taking a little nap over here. More movie location looking type houses out here. This one kind of represents the, resembles, I should say, the Amity Horror House. And that's a wrap on Lake Cherokee. Let's get that dog home. And this is the house. I don't think never before seen the house that belonged to the lady that Turtle brought the dog back to. Now on the scene, Turtle's walking right here with the dog. You see the lady and there used to be a picket fence here. House in the background has been painted differently, but it adds up, it matches up completely. And then they met right here where the, the picket fence used to be. And the lady talks to him about how it's her, her dog's most favorite part of the day. Literally two scenes. The way it was shot it was kind of like more or less in this angle. You don't really see the steeple part of the house. I believe that was like added on later. But the front door entrance, the windows, the porch area, even though there's been some stuff that's been added to it, still adds up, man. It matches up. It's pretty cool. When I was looking for the tree, I knew it was on this area here, but I didn't know if the house actually existed. Well, got on Google Images, on Google Earth, you know, started going around Lake Cherokee, saw these two houses, and then this was it. Did it. Probably the first one, if anybody cares. All right, so coming up is Kaylee School, Kaylee Avenue School, Kaylee Elementary. This was the school in Daryl. Now, school is in session, and I don't like filming schools. So we're gonna drive by it. I'm gonna insert photos from the film. And this is where it took place. Also, filming location for Problem Child 2. Right here, this is the school. That's where they drop off Daryl. Turtle walks him in. Drove down to Winter Park for one shot, the ATM shot, and of course there's a festival going on and half the roads are blocked and $20 parking everywhere. Been seriously driving for like 20 minutes trying to find somewhere to park for one shot. Totally holding up traffic, waiting for this lady to back out because I'm getting this spot. I don't care. <laughs> I am that guy right now. We're one location. I'm doing this for you guys. All right, nearly 45 minutes later from our last location, we're gonna go find the ATM where Daryl's dad, well, Andy, tries to get some money, $100. Daryl fixes it for him, actually gives him a good chunk of money. All right, straight ahead, past the pizza and more, which I believe was the coffee shop. This is where Michael McKean, Barrett Oliver, Daryl and Andy came out to visit the ATM, the time machine. So the straight ahead, that building has changed since 1985, but that's where Michael McKean parks the car. Him and Daryl walk up right here, and this was where the ATM was. So if you see, the time machine would have been to the left, and the coffee shop is now a breakfast and dessert place. But that was where the ATM sat. Michael McKean was trying to get $100. Finally, Daryl says, here, let me try camera moves right here and he raises up his money for one million four hundred twenty six thousand three hundred and seventy dollars nice kid right here was the time machine and he thanked the time machine like they were friends well he was a computer now this is a eyeglass door this is where the time machine sat in the movie Daryl man some of these locations are a little difficult to get to, you know? Up here is the, uh, the hospital that was used in Daryl. And 
and I've had my fair share of run-ins with VA hospitals. This is a VA hospital. This happened in South Pasadena. So I'm just gonna do a drive-through and insert the photo. That's the hospital right there from Daryl. It's actually where Daryl was pronounced dead, but we know how everything turned out. That's it. All right, this is it right here. The sign on the right-hand side of the screen says Orange Blossom Trail. That sign can be seen several scenes. Here on the 408. All right, these are the kind of filming locations that are the difficult ones. There's really nowhere to park around here, so I'm just gonna do this as we drive straight ahead once we get through this uh, red light here. This intersection above us is the 408. This was used in Daryl on the police chase scene. Now coming up right here as I take a left straight ahead, this was the Comfort Inn on the right, that vacation lodge there, and on the left was the 76 gas station. And that billboard and everything can be seen. And then this is where the cars, the police cars, and the gentlemen get caught right here on this exit to get back onto the 408, heading downtown Orlando. Two spots right there. This is where the baseball game happened between the Mohawks and the Warriors. Right here, this is the dugout. It was not covered in the film, but these are the stands, the bleachers. That's where it happened. All right, let's match up what we can of that famous baseball game that took place right here. All right, you can see the kid, number 30, throwing it to home plate right there. This was home plate. Difficult to see with this, with this gate. And there's no way in, this one's all locked up. Apologize for the gate, but the, the coaches shook hands right here. And this was it, man. The Mohawks and the Warriors. And the shot, if I'm against the gate, is like this. You can see the, the tennis courts in the shot. Everything was a little bit less, more shaded and, you know, not as private back then in the 80s. Later on, as the Florida sun would set in, they would add things, you know, to this ball field. Straight ahead, number seven, Daryl, was up to bat. And from that home plate, he struck one. And man, if you can look through there and look at those trees, that tree line really hasn't changed a whole lot since 1985. And the whole crowd was sitting here cheering on the Mohawks, the Warriors. I don't think this stand has really changed. This fence line has gotten taller, but more or less, this is where you see the Mohawks and their coach, Andy, making some calls. And right here, you can see Joyce talking to, to Daryl. She gets kind of upset with him, and this is when Turtle comes in for the adult talk. And Turtle was standing about right here. And that's when he looks over and he says, come here, I got to give you a talk. And that talk kind of happens right here between Daryl and Turtle. And he tells him it's okay to mess up every now and then. Grown-ups like to, you know, chew you out, kick your butt a little bit, you know, things like that. <laughs> I love Turtle. That character was so awesome. This is the famous spot right here where <laughs> Daryl basically tells his parents to kiss his ass. And Joyce, <laughs> Joyce and Andy are standing right here and the look on Michael McKean's face, like both of their face, so funny because Daryl basically just tells him to shove it. <laughs> so Joyce kind of perks up because she was kind of hoping something like this would happen. She wanted to kind of mom Daryl a little bit. That's kind of what Turtle's talk was. Daryl figured it out, but he kind of went a little overboard, but they have the conversation right over here above my shoulder. Yeah, right about here is where Joyce and Daryl she kind of tells Daryl, like, hey, it's okay to mess up. And he's kind of like, I'm sorry about my language. And that whole thing took place right here. It's a great little moment. 
it's kind of funny that that is true i think adults do do kind of appreciate when kids mess up every now and then gives them something to kind of do i wouldn't know though i do have a french bulldog and i will say he's told me to kiss his butt before too and the kids sitting with the scoreboard that did kind of happen right over here on that little back fence area and the mohawks defeated the warriors they hoisted turtle and daryl up right where i'm standing in this area all that took place right here in this little area and that was the game and then the camera panned to a shot of daryl and his family leaving the game heading back to their car I really wish I could get into that field. That would be the thing, to come play baseball here at Daryl Field. Hmm. I'm just throwing this out there into the universe right now and wanting you guys to put your two cents in. If there was a way that I could show films and spots they were filmed here in Orlando and do kind of like a meeting up, like, you know, World of Micah meetup, watch the movie, see the filming location spots, Probably have some friends come and hang out too. Would you guys be interested in something like that? Even though I can't get on the Daryl Field, I can at least touch first base on property, right? I love this park, by the way, Delaney Park. This park is awesome. They also filmed scenes, baseball scenes, a few years later from 1985, I believe it was 1989, of Steve Martin in Parenthood out here. Hmm, I wonder if Mike is going to do the Parenthood filming locations. I'm on a roll. And that's a wrap on Delaney Park. Time to move on. And our last spot on today's adventure is down here over by UCF on University Boulevard near this area. This is TASCOM from Daryl. Right here. This was what that place was used for. In the film, this is pretty wild. I didn't come in the main entrance. The side entrance was open. Just gonna drive around and insert the shots because we're not really supposed to be back here, but there's no sign saying no. It's just one of those things. But this is it. Cow. Dude, I'm totally gonna pull up forward. I got to. Oh my gosh. Daryl. It's freaking Daryl. I've never seen this before. This is what it's like driving up to where Daryl was kind of created right there and there's a scene where all the government vehicles are driving down this stretch of road right here that's crazy though that's it now all the sequences shot inside there were actually shot at epcot there was a uh, computer room in the back of epcot for one of the shows or rides or attractions and uh yeah they shot it at epcot and that's the locations for today. These were a little difficult to get to. I started today at around 11 o'clock. It's now three o'clock. Not a long day, but it, it does feel like a long day when you're going to each location, driving to each location, trying to find a place to park, you know, that whole thing. Two locations I'm throwing in here. One, the Kissimmee Airport in Kissimmee on 192 can't get to it you know necessarily i don't really feel like filming at an airport that's another location that's just like weird but that's where that was filmed and then blue lake there's been some talk about where blue lake was filmed either in eustis florida or down in orlando you decide where those were shot but this was a lot of fun i'm glad we did this today and that's it the filming locations for the 1985 film daryl See you guys on the next adventure. Thanks for being my friend. See you on the next episode. Until then, stay weird. Goodbye.